Regret Upon one's last breath, it makes feelings like grief and shame and guilt look like child's play. Because, see, even though we can receive grace, mercy, and self-healing, even in our last moments, there isn't a way to rectify regret for a moment or life wasted. Please, don't let that flame in you go unfanned. If you have a big dream or strong desire, let me say this. Don't wait. Don't wait for permission or the right moment or a sign or perfect conditions or enough money or time or energy or information or guts to get yourself together and make your grand leaps through this life. And although there is a slight sting in trying and failing, it is leading you to your eventual success. There is no salve in life for the regret in failing to try. Please, please don't wait. Because if you do, you may well find yourself at the end, crushed under the ever-growing weight of regret. And it will only be made worse when you recall reading the post of a crazy woman of a certain age who sold all of her shit and in what sometimes appeared as a free fall, released herself from everything that made her feel secure and cut the lines from all of those things that she associated with her identity to sail off on an unknown adventure with a man she once barely knew. And you will know that in her last breath, among all the love and experiences and trials and successes and hardships and craziness, that there was one thing she did not take with her on her journeys or to her grave. It was regret. And you will remember the day she told you. Please don't wait. <laughs>